relationship with someone, when you marry someone, you don't want to give yourself up to get into the relationship and obviously don't want to stay in your own space where you really don't connect as well. What we're looking for is a place where, as Jesus said, love thy neighbor as thyself. You're as connected here as you are here. When it starts to be there or it starts to be here, we're off. We're into what we, I was calling positive or negative numbers and we're looking for, uh, if you ever worked with a level, that place where the bubble sits right between the two lines. We set this time aside in the dojo to practice this, but watch yourself out there. My, my comment working with the corporate people is, you know, you ever been in a meeting where everybody's talking at once? And then I said, and then how about the meeting where everybody knows something needs to be said and everybody's kind of waiting for someone else to say it? If you could see the incoherence of this behavior, uh, if you could start to come into being a more human person and stand in both places at once and thank the opposing team as we bow to our partners when we're done training with them. Thank you for helping me grow and develop. Thank you for a good game. Thank you for whether we win or lose, but it's, it's still something larger going on. When we lose that larger something and we're just do Dodger fans or just Giant fans or just <laughs> you pick it, um, now we're into the world that becomes terrorism. We're beating people to death because they cheered for the other team? Really? But yes. But here's what I'd say is everyone's trying to find their connection to the infinite. They wouldn't tell you that. They wouldn't know it. But if they felt that connection, they would have respect for people who saw different things. You know, my, my brother studied with a karate teacher. You know, he took me to his class when I was visiting and I just thought, this guy's great. You know, he's teaching more Aikido than a lot of Aikido teachers. He was really fantastic. And then uh, the same time that I got my third degree black belt, this guy was failed for his third degree karate black belt, you know. And uh, my brother was kind of upset about it. He said, because he'd kick your ass. And I said, well, you know, it really doesn't matter because we're never going to fight. And he doesn't have any more fun when he trains than I do when I train. So what's the, you know, what's the problem? What's the issue here? And I think this, this sense of shifting into this balancing positive and negative, standing on the floating bridge, feeling one with the universe, however you want to talk about it, this is what we need to practice because we're always creating reciprocating echoes. And as soon as you create that division with other people, uh, you're enhancing that. If you start treating them with respect, I was telling a great story about Wendy and, and one of her great comments, some Kung Fu teacher, Saikido, no good for fighting. And she said, yeah, it's good for not fighting. And I thought, I thought it was a beautiful response. But yeah. I'd say, as soon as you get to this resonance here, you start creating that in the world. Or as Eldridge Cleaver said, if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem.